name's Joseph Hanwick, I'm a photographer. And 15 years ago, I had the honor to accompany my father, John Hanwick, Professor John Hanwick, who is a world expert on the manuscripts of Timbuktu. Um, these manuscripts are to be found in Timbuktu, in Mali, um, and they represent a treasure, a hidden treasure, until now, they've come to the surface. Um, the manuscripts from Timbuktu really help, are helping to change our perception of the history of Africa and to rewrite the history and to see it in a totally different way. Uh, Timbuktu was, is found on the most northerly curve of the River Niger in Mali and was an important trading post and an important centre of learning. In the Middle Ages it had up to 25,000 students from all over, from West Africa, from North Africa. Teachers from uh, Granada, Kairouan, from, from uh, Baghdad, from uh, Al Azhar in, in Egypt. And through the trade and the movement of the scholars, Timbuktu became a crucible of learning and uh, uh, in the arts, in religion, in the sciences and many other fields and in fact uh, the importance of this was not only that learning, the tr written learning was disseminated across West Africa and in fact we discover that Arab, the Arabic language and script is the lingua franca of Africa. Uh, the Arabic script was used uh, not only uh, to write and copy books in Arabic but to write the local languages in Hausa, Fulani and many others, Songhai for instance. And in this mini exhibition at the Chalice Well, uh, it's be a great pleasure to uh, introduce Timbuktu, the significance of the manuscripts, and for you to come and see in person and discover something more about this incredible word Timbuktu and its meaning and the significance of its manuscripts. Thank you.